Suppose you have an invertible matrix, then you want to show that the determinant of the inverse of A is equal to one over determinant of A, or the multiplication of determinant of A and the determinant of inverse is equal to one. Let us begin. We know that if you multiply A and its inverse, it's always equal to identity matrix. So since left-hand side and right-hand side are equal to each other, you can take the determinant of both sides and the determinant must be equal as well. Remember that the determinant is just a function. So you are taking the function of both sides. At the same time, we prove that the determinant of A times B is the determinant of A times the determinant of B. So basically, since you have two matrices A and B, you have the exact same thing here. You have inverse of A times A. So you can write it as the determinant of inverse of A multiplied by the determinant of A. On the right-hand side, you end up with the determinant of identity matrix, which is nothing but one. Now you're gonna divide everything by determinant of A, and then cancel out the determinant of A, which is a common factor. So you end up having the determinant of inverse of A as one over determinant of A.